Hey everyone, uh, today I will use Amplify to build an uh, authentication flows. So first I can sign up a new account and then I got confirmation code via my email and then I confirm and then I can sign in and log out. Um, the service behind it is the uh, Cognito user pool. Amplify offer many other solutions for identity provider, for example with uh, social provider for example Facebook Google but I do the most simple one so now let's jump in the code and do it okay let's just, just left it here and so I will empty project uh, um, and pi create next app Sorry, it should be in here. Okay, and let me copy some uh, dependency. I need Chakra UI for front end. So let me uh, uh, copy it. Okay. And I need another one, which is the Chakra UI icons. This one. Uh, let me close this. And install. Okay, so um, while waiting for dependencies, I will set up Amplify, Amplify backend. So I need a new Amplify project, just the four option. So what happened now is Amplify prepare the back end in AWS first. I will show you the uh, AWS console later on. Or uh, now we have to wait a bit. And then we add the uh, Amplify Authentication Service. I can. So let me go to CloudFormation to show what happened now. So what happening now is uh, yeah, this one. Yes. Now I'm gonna add Amplify Add Auth. Yes, by email done. And then Amplify dot push. Amplify push. So dependency done. Yes. Okay, let's check. Okay, so it's uh, updating and we can see in the Amplify here. Yeah, this new project, this one. Okay, so it's creating and it will, it's creating and let me show you. Uh, Cognito also. Cognito, in this case, Cognito, it is it's creating uh, 12 seconds ago. Um, so our users will be stored in here, username, password in uh, Cognito user pool. That's it. So let me come back to code. And uh, we start modify the code. So let me, okay. Uh, I will modify a bit and then I, I uh, run the web later on. So let me change the app. Oh, I can run now npm run dev. 
and then we need a little bit of space for um, the front end let me change it a bit and then here I will have the front end Okay, now we can modify the code. So I'm gonna load check right UI. Amplify. And the, the back end configuration. Let me show you. So th this J, um, JS file is generated by Amplify CLI for us, and it contains information about our backend. Now it's almost empty, but when the Amplify finish, we'll get all the parameters for the backend in here. So I'm come back to this later. So now we config Amplify. And I will wrap this one into Chakra Provider. Okay. So the format looks, uh, the font size look a little bit different from the default because Chakra front end. So we wait a bit to check it. Okay, and now we come to the index. I'll remove the default. So I need to check the user auth state. And first, I will use Amplify to get get the uh, get auth user state. So now I make a little bit of placeholder code so we can understand the flow easier. So I by default I want to return the login form. So login form just takes um log sign in form, right? But if uh, if the state is in sign up state and then I want to return the sign up form
and then if user already authenticated in and then I just show the the log out button the sign out button so that's it so now we are in the uh, sign in form uh, let's check the back end is that finished we have finished the back end and this is our back end we have cognito pool id user pool yeah pool id uh, okay so now i make several components let me component the first one is the um, sign up form and then another one is a sign in form and then a sign out button so the sign out button is the left from the sign out button the most simple one I copy and paste sign out button is just very simple just uh, auth dot sign out and then set user to no very simple uh, the sign in sign up so sign up is the, um, the most complicated component we do two tags one is the sign up new account given the user and the password username and password username in this case is the email so after after we uh, sign up a new account the user will receive a confirmation code via email therefore we have the second tag is to confirm the code so the user enter the code into the front end click and then confirm the code and then if it succeed we set the user so that the sign up form and now the sign in form it's pretty long uh, so I just copy paste mm. so what is the first sign in actually we don't need this function this is the for the case uh, when we invite a new user we, we give them an initial password and then we require them to change the password the first time so we need this but I don't need this one so delete it okay so just uh, let me check let me delete it again okay so what is the sign the sign is you you log in even user password if it succeed and then I I set the user to authenticated and that is now we can integrate in here so I will use the sign up form here and then uh see sign out button and finally the sign in okay let me change it a bit
So that's it. That's it. And now let's check. Okay. Now I, I start. Uh, let me check any any, you know, problem. In the console. Okay. So far so good. So let me uh, zoom in a bit. And now I I want to uh, this button disable. So let me enable the button. Sign in. Okay, active the button. Let me register a new. I want to make a new account, so I, I don't have any account, so I create an account. Uh, I give my user and the password. Okay, and I sign up. Okay, so. Uh, after sign up, I get these uh, Cognito users, and I receive the code in in my email. This is a code. Let me zoom. Okay, zoom in a bit. It's the code here. So I copy the code, and uh, I paste the code here. Okay, and now I confirm the code. Let me clean it. Okay, confirm the code. Uh, maybe I need to check if that any errors. I received the code, confirm the code. Let me check. I think this function because it after it it need to print something. So this is one bug I have. Uh, if the code is is uh, if the code is a no, so if the code is no, I just set user to no and I come back. But is if not no, so I so I need to okay. So so let me go here and I delete the the user and I do it again. Sorry. Okay, so I can now. Uh, yeah, the user store here, so I can uh, disable it first, and then I can delete the user. Okay, and then I have to register again. Okay, now no user yes. So I come back my flows. Uh, I want to make a new account. And then sign up. OK. Uh, check the code again. OK. Paste the code here. Confirm. Okay, so it confirmed succeed, and now I can. Uh, let's see in here is this update the state, so the state should be uh, confirmed. Confirmed. So now I can uh, log in. Okay, sign in. Okay, I'm in, and then I sign out. Okay, so that's that uh, a simple auth flows with Amplify and Cognito. Okay, and thank you.